All right, it's like a freaking mission on GTA. We just lost all the stars, so we lost all the pops. And now our food is running back and we can actually try it. All right, let's do this. What's up guys, today I have a very special video for all you food lovers out there, especially if you're from the Philippines, this might be very interesting to you because today I'm gonna show you guys the best street food here in the Philippines. I'm gonna compare it to other street food that I previously tasted before and also compare it to food from Germany because my friend today and the new replacement of Oliver is... Hey, I'm Jacob, nice to meet you guys. So Jacob, tell me a little bit about yourself, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Berlin. I'm I like I lo I modeled there for a while, and last year I graduated. So this is my first modeling trip. Wow, it's first modeling trip. Have yeah, you heard that? So it's the first time in Asia for you? Yeah, yeah, first time in Asia. First time outside of Europe. Uh, it's also the first video I film. Wow, so first I'm video, first modeling trip, first time street food in the Philippines, right? True, true. Have you yeah. ever tried some other street food before? In Spain. In but Spain? Like nothing very. Nothing special. too exotic, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm expecting today. I'm expecting something really crazy because when I was in Bangkok, I tried like spiders, scorpions, freaking insects. That's like totally insane. If you try it for the first time, you're really scared. It's still a little bit weird to me if I eat street food somewhere else because I always have problems with my freaking stomach. So I always okay, get like freaking okay. food poisoning, stuff Maybe like that. Today, I'm, I'm gonna be very brave. I'm gonna try everything that my friends are gonna throw at me because we're going with some Filipino friends I have here and they are gonna show me the most famous Filipino street food dishes and I can't wait to try it. That oh, by the way, I have a question for you. Do you want to see me naked today? Yeah, I have to. He's exactly like Oliver, I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, see you at the street food place. All right, guys, we just made it here to the street market. It looks pretty insane. It reminds me actually a lot of Bangkok. And with us here we have... Shemaine. Shemaine. Chris. Chris. Heaven. And Heaven. We're gonna try the street food here in the market. Are you guys excited? Yeah, of course. All right, so let's get it, guys. Let's get it. All right, so we arrived at the first dish that we want to try. What do we got here, Heaven? Uh, this is what you call the bibinka. Bibinka? Yeah. That is a rice cake made of sticky rice, then topped with brown sugar on top of it. That is one of the famous Filipino food here, especially Christmas is coming. All right, so this is a classic Filipino Christmas dish, right? Yeah. All right, guys, so we have it here, the famous Filipino babinka. And now it's time for me and Jacob to try it. Jacob, are you excited? I'm excited. Wow, and it's so sweet, full of sugar, but it tastes amazing. <laughs> How does it taste like? And this is so sweet, but it goes so well together. I love it, so good. I have to agree. Just finish that, because actually he's not on diet, he can eat whatever he wants, whereas I am really strict. So this is it for this dish for me, but I'm just gonna try a little bit more, of course. Mm -hmm. And Jacob, just go ahead and finish it. Sure enough. All right, guys, second dish right oh. here. Again, my food expert, oh, Heaven, right here. Heaven, what do we got here? That is what you call, this one is quack quack. Okay, quack quack? Yeah. Quack quack. It is actually a quail egg. Actually a quail egg covered with Let's see if this is as convincing as the first one. That tastes confusing to me. I don't really know what I just ate, really. Yeah, it's, uh, it's egg, but it just tastes like so different because the consistency is super different. I don't like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! He doesn't have any manners. We taught him actually better in Germany. Anyway, he doesn't like the food. What's the problem with this? I'm not a fan of cooked egg. It's not really my taste, but it's also not like bad. It's just not my yeah. taste. 
guys. I think our food is just running away from us. Yeah, I'm doing He's running away. He doesn't want to serve us. Police is in the house, guys, and that's why our food is running away. All right, it's like a freaking mission on GTA. We just lost all the stars, so we lost all the pops. And now our food is running back, and we can actually try it. All right, let's do this. It's on to meal number three. And what do we have here? This time with my expert. Oh. <laughs> Your Should name? I say the same? I I'm Jeno. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. With my really... expert, Jeno. All right, Jeno. What do we got here? This white one is called the chicken balls. Okay, it's called chicken balls. Yeah. So it basically consists out of chicken or fish or something mm. in between. I think it tastes good. It looks actually quite delicious. It's like deep fried, so... They usually have like a fish balls, but they don't have it there, so... All right, let's try this. Let's get one. All right, cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. All right, let's do this. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. It almost tastes like a, like a German sausage or something like that, right? Just made out of chicken. It's my favorite. Like today, it's my favorite. So far, it's favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely something I can recommend to you guys. Yeah. I think to finish things off, we should go for like a really classic dessert, which I know is the famous halo halo. So let's find the most authentic Filipino halo halo. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. All right, guys. So we have here the very famous Filipino halo halo. Honestly, I'm still not 100% sure what's inside, but I'm just gonna feed it now to my friend Jacob here and he will tell me if he likes it or not. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Romantic music, three, two, one, let's go. so good it's like ice cream and jelly yeah and nuts mm. it's so much stuff you don't even know what you're eating but it's just so delicious mm, I right? love it yeah. now we're gonna just gonna mix yeah, all together because, because this is what what real enough. what real Filipino people do ah, it, uh, halo means halo mix. Halo yeah halo halo means mix mix so we're just mixing everything together okay now. let's go so honestly this is like this is an amazing dessert I have to say this is really right. good yeah very good <laughs> no, doesn't work. <laughs> Alright guys, we just made it back to my apartment and something bad happened. Actually, we filmed this beautiful cathedral and we did a little food review of all the chill, items we chill. tried and then we just found out that the audio got lost so now we have to do now we have to do a retake how do you feel about it it's quite annoying right it's so annoying because we had like this wonderful background yeah. we had like all the ratings we had exactly. like also the like exactly. the natives the people so guys there. always make sure to freaking turn your audio on on your microphone true anyway let's rate the filipino street food once more. Alright guys, number one was bibinka. There was this rice with brown sugar and chocolate and honestly I have to say this was my favorite for today because I don't usually eat any sweets but this one actually tasted so good because it was this great combination of carbs, sugar and chocolate which is basically unbeatable. So I give this one an 8 out of 10. What do you think? Yeah, bibinka was very good. I think for me it was a 7, it was yeah. not my favorite, but it was definitely like one of the favorites. Yeah. Let's proceed to number 2, which was... Oh, you forgot the name? Yeah, I forgot the name. Okay, it was called Quack Quack. It was quack this quack. like, it was this, this, this quail egg and it was deep fried and it was orange. It tasted a little bit weird honestly, especially when you, when you bit on it, right? It true, felt like true. there was something coming out there yeah. and it's like really strange. So honestly not my favorite. Maybe I give it like a like a four or five out of ten, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, like I hated it. For oh, it you hated a, it. Yeah, for me it was a two. I tried to like when I ate it, yeah. you could see that I like I yeah, didn't yeah. enjoy it. So how many points do you get it? It was two. Two? Two. Alright, he gets it two points. So pretty yeah, two disappointing. Points. Number three was chicken ball. Chicken ball, exactly. Easy name, not Filipino, but very, very traditional here in the Philippines, apparently, like our friend told us. Yeah. And honestly, it tasted like a German sausage, so I can't complain. I give it uh, a 7 out of 10. Yeah, for me, it was my favorite. Yeah. Um, I give chicken ball a 8. 8. It was very good. That's pretty good. Number four, the last one, the dessert, the very famous halo halo, which means mix, mix, mix things up. 
That's what we didn't do in the beginning because it looked so beautiful and colorful, so we didn't want to destroy it. But then after we mixed it up, it was actually quite delicious, right? So I think I give Halo Halo a 7 out of 10. By the way, better than Jollibee's. Yeah, we had this pretty romantic moment. Uh, exactly, we yeah. shared this very romantic moment. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was like between the uh, Bibinka yeah. and the Chicken Bowl. Yeah. So it was for me a 7.5. 7.5. I enjoyed it, but yeah. Still, chicken ball was the best. Chicken ball. All right. So his favorite was the chicken ball. My favorite was the bibinka, and I think we can agree we didn't like the the quack quack too much. And I think that's pretty much it. So now that we got the ratings in here as well, we can pretty much say goodbye to you guys. I think we had a fun day, right? We had a very fun day. Very yeah. fun day. It was yeah. crazy. It was crowded. It was loud. It was colorful. Very traditional. But I fairly enjoyed it. And I yeah, really enjoyed it. Tomorrow I'm going to show you guys part two. It will be a little bit different. But I hope all you guys will enjoy that as well. So see you guys tomorrow. See Say you. goodbye to Jacob. Yeah, goodbye. See goodbye, guys. guys. See you later.